Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk, and today I'm going to make a baseball bat, a fake cartoon baseball bat that's going to wobble like crazy as it hits the cartoon ball. Right now, we're just going to make the bat. So I'll start off, oh, let's see the top view, actually, is pretty good, because it's going to be fairly parallel to the ground as it strikes the ball. They want to create and go into splines like you would anything that's laid, like glass or a furniture leg or whatever. I'll actually keep the grid here. I'll we'll start creating this. Just kind of click on the line. Generally, the rule is start on the line and then the line. I'll click and drag so things are kind of nice and smooth. This is going to be a cartoony bat. So I'm maybe exaggerating a little bit. Come up and around and end. So we'll have a nice cap there. Right click. There it is. Okay. So it's cartoony bat. Now I'll take the grid off hitting G now so I can see what happens. It's I'm gonna need to fix it, but here we go. Going to modify. I'll drop on a lathe, of course. This is just a line that I've made. I'll drop on a lathe. Now since it was opened on the right side and met the line on the right side, I'll go to the max. Which basically means on the right side. There's my bat. It looks kind of okay. Very thin on the handle. So I might have to change that. Yeah, pretty good cartoony bat. We can improve it. To improve it, go to the line and change the vertices. We can still play with those. So I can move those wherever we want to. For example, if I grab this and I want to move it, I can move this over here, go back, and see what I did, which is just awful. So another way to do it is go to the vertices. Same thing. But I'll click here, show end result on off toggle, so that when I move this, I can actually see what's going on. And I can see, oh my gosh, don't do that. So control Z to undo. Now I do want to change some parts of this. This is going to be a problem later. There aren't enough divisions in here to make it work well. So it's a Bezier curve here. I can pull on this, and if I pull it right, if it's one of those Bezier curves, I can always change the kind in here. But if it's a Bezier curve, I can change it to make it more smooth and fluid. And when it does that, it has more divisions over there and through there. Now, this is just too tight, just too ridiculous a handle for me. I'll make it a little bit thicker there. Same with this spot right here. And I'm wondering, maybe I want a busy curve here. Bring that out a bit and make it look a little fancier. That actually looks all right. So I'm playing with it and seeing what I get. Hmm, I think these need to go down. Hmm. Odd looking bat, but it's a cartoon, so I'm good with it. We'll start with something like, hmm, eh, okay. Something like that. Alright, so enough playing. Here's the bat they're gonna use. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, here's the bat they're gonna use, so that's fine. I'm actually pulling a point. You want to be careful of that. You don't want to pull the points right there. I'm going to change this actually to a Bezier, yeah, just regular Bezier curve and change that shape. So it looks a little bit better. And if you grab the middle point here, only use the arrows here for up and down. Otherwise, it won't work right. That's good. I like that. So we have the bat. All right. So we finally have what we want. So just a couple of choices at this point. We can collapse it if we want to, which is usually nice, or we can leave it as is. Um, I tend to like it collapsed, it's up to you. But I think I'll leave it as is for the tutorial. So here we go, I'm collapsing is just right click and collapse all. Boom, great. I'll leave it as this and I'm going to start to do the vibration. So it's going to start to hit, which is great. And I think I'll start the vibration first. So I want it to hit the ball, let's say frame 50. Okay. So it'll hit on frame 50. So on Frame 50 is going to start to vibrate. Now I'll go to the top of the stack. Here it happens to be the lathe. And I'll add the bend modifier. It's going to bend it, of course. Now I want to set keyframes. So I go into auto. And I'll mess with this. I'll just click it, change it. And hit the key. And it sets it. This actually sends, sets the bend. Angle 0. And the keyframe is set. I can click it here just to make sure. I'll take this out to right before frame 50. Or maybe a little bit, yeah, it's gonna hit the ball at frame 50. So I'll start it right here, right before frame 50. 
and I'll set the angle again for zero. I want to check something here too. This might be the wrong angle it's coming out on, but the angle is fine. And out over here, we'll start to bend it quite a bit and see how far it bends. Now it's not bending on the right axis, so I'll bring the angle up, try a different axis. There we go. It's going to bend along the y axis. That's great. Okay, so we're having it bend along the y axis, which is good. What I didn't do, and I should have, let's see if it's not too late, I'll go in and try it. I'll go into the hierarchy, let's take the auto key off, the very beginning, and I want to take a look at the pivot. I'll affect the pivot only, I'll center it to the object, and I'll drag it straight down where the handle would be. Now, here's a good note this is where the handle's going to be gripped, right around there. And the bat swung from there, from that pivot point. The bat swings around there from the batter's hands. Now, if I'm doing the full scene where the batter's holding it, I've got to pivot the batter itself, which holds the bat, which moves the whole thing. But this is just going to be the bat swinging at the ball. It's not even going to be swinging through space. If I want it swinging through space, I can pull the pivot point back here somewhere, and the whole bat will swing around. I'm just going to do the bat like it's a magical bat or something, swinging at a ball. So this is fun. So take this. Go over and see what happens. And yeah, the bend's still bending from the center of it. I want it to bend from the pivot over there. So I might have to redo that, unfortunately. So I'll go to the bend, I'll take off those keyframes, die. There we go. Keyframes are gone. And I'll take the bend up once again, frame right before 50. And I'll bend it. See if this bends any better. Okay. Let's change that to the gizmo. Bring that down. So it's bending right there a lot. Don't want to bend that much. Bend about like so when it hits. That's fine. Now that's on 49. Frame zero. We don't want it to bend at all. Type in a zero and enter. And enter that, of course. And frame. Let's set it up again. Zero here. Even auto key. Boom. So we're fine. And. Frame 51, we'll bend it. There we go, where it hits. And it suddenly starts to bend. So it suddenly hits very, very hard, very, very fast. All right, so it's gonna, I've got the keyframe there. I'm gonna have a wobbly kind of effect, I think. So it bends like that, and I'll we'll bend it back, like so. And we'll go over, and it'll get slower and slower, so the longer the distance, the slower the wobble like that, and back about like so, and one final bit of wobble in the other direction, almost back to normal, okay, so let's take the auto key off, go back and play it, here we go, and whoops, that does not work, we'll see why, let's set the auto key up again, and as we're going, it's setting up that curve, we don't want that, we want this, we don't want this, I'm going to set that up again, for zero. Make sure it takes this time. Click on that. Okay, great. So it's gonna smack the ball and see what happens. Here we go. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hits the ball and wobbles. That's what we want. Okay. So it hits the ball and wobbles. We had to move that gizmo to center down there. We've got the rotation on the pivot point, which is good. Because now we're gonna work on the rotation of the bat. So top of everything is fine. We're not gonna mess with the angle. We're actually just gonna rotate the bat. So from zero. Auto key it. I don't want to rotate. Well, I do want to rotate it actually. Um, I do want to set the rotation up right here where it hits the ball to be where we're at. So I want to set that rotation and I want to key it. So that rotation is now keyed. Um, before that, we're going to swing. So I'm going to swing from about here because I want a fairly fast swing. So I'll bring this out. I'm going to swing at it. So I've got this going up, boom. Okay. Now I have to set the keyframe back here. Maybe even a little further than that. So I'll rotate it and bring it maybe even a little further than that. Just a little bit back. And keyframe it. Okay. So let's see what happens. Take the auto key off now and play it and starts and swings. Boom. Hits the ball and wobbles. Alright, now just going through and hitting the ball and wobbles, it's, it's pretty good. It's kind of fun. And this is fairly complete. But you can always fine tune it. So we have something like this, and it swings, and it stops the swing right there. It just is wobbling after that, as you can tell. So it stops the swing right there. But let's do a little bit of follow through 
and bring the swing very slowly. Uh, follow through. Rotate it right about there, or anywhere that looks good to you. Keep the auto keel in. We'll follow through, maybe it goes down a little bit like that, and then maybe it bring back a little over time. So we'll start to back off a bit again. Okay, so we'll take that back. So what happens in the swing? Here it goes, and from the top, it goes like so. Takes a swing, boom, and brings the bat back again. Hits it, wobbles, and brings it back again. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's get more technical, <laughs> if you want to. We can take a look on the side here, in our perspective. Hit Z if it gets lost on the screen. That should center things out. I'll zoom out a little, and we'll see what we've got. So, play it, swings, and yeah, looks pretty good. You can go an extra mile here, an extra thing here, and I'm going to away at the very beginning, auto, and I'll bring the bat up, because most bats are held up pretty much by the shoulder. So I do that there, and it comes down. I'll set this other swing to be a little bit up. So let's see what we've got. It's up, goes down, and then hits. Okay, it's kind of a more realistic, well, if that's the right word, more realistic approach to this. So, final result is this. It's up a bit, goes down, and swings, hits, and gets all wobbly. Now the hit is right over here. So let's change this around to here, I suppose. Goes down, swings, and hits. Better angle be here. Boom. All right. So we have our baseball bat swinging at a ball, hitting it and getting all wobbly. Okay, that's pretty darn good. If you want to add a ball, oh, it's tempting, but I'm already at 12 minutes, so I think I'm going to call it a day, and uh, happy baseball.